Hello everybody, welcome to a very quick look at how to install mods into American Truck Simulator and also enable plugins and also enable the developer console. Now I'll show you what that is in a bit. First off, you'll have to excuse the mess of my desktop. First off is mods in the mods folder. Now it's exactly the same as Euro Truck. So if you know how that works, job's a good one. But if you don't, stay tuned. Now I've got my game installed on my C drive, my main system drive. So may differ slightly, very slightly, if you've got it installed on a different drive or anything like that. But inside the documents folder, you have should have a folder named American Truck Simulator, like that. Just like you would have Euro Truck Simulator, which is somewhere around here. Double click on that, and you'll have these files in here, the ones I've highlighted there. And you won't have that folder there. So literally, all it is, is, you know, right click, new directory, folder, then type in mod, and away you go. So in here, as you can see, I've installed a couple of mods already. And this folder here, this is the folder I download the mods to, so just double click on your zip file, the SCS file there, and then you drag and drop that into your mod folder like that. And then it does some thinking. We do some waiting. And then it tells me I've already got it. And I'll tell it to skip it. But that's fine. So there you go. That's the mod installed. I'll show you how to enable that in a second, if you're unfamiliar with that. So that is the mods folder. Now, plugins is a little bit different. Plugins are different from mods. Um, the best way to describe it is... Um, a, a plugin would take data out of the game and then do something with that data. So the plugin I've got takes the raw data out of American Truck Simulator and then does jiggery pokery with it and then throws that at the steering wheel. And the reason someone might do this is that enables you to have a greater control over the force feedback and it gives you more parameters. So that's just one example of a plugin. Another example would be um, if you were to use a, a mobile device, a phone or a tablet or something like that to display your load details or some speed details or anything like that. So there's lots of different things you can do with the data that American Truck outputs. And to do that, you'll probably be using a plugin. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Now, this is a different folder. It'll be in your program file. So like I say, I'm on C. So you go to C. Uh, it'll be an x86. This is, again, Steam version. I think the only version of American Truck is Steam version, so it'll all be the same. Double-click on that. Scroll down to Steam, just there. Double-click. And then you want Steam apps down the bottom here. Click. Then Common. Then American Truck Simulator. Then Bin. And then you'll just have that one folder there, Win x64. Now that there is the American Truck Simulator program, Amtrucks. And again, when you first come into this directory, you'll have those files, but you won't have that folder. So you need to create that folder, same process as before. Put it in a new folder if you wanted, but it has to be called Plugins. Then inside there, that's where your plugin goes. So that's my G27 feedback mod. Uh, it's important that when you download this file, which I have here, you actually get two versions of it there. You get an X64 version and an X X86 version. Now that's the X86 is 32-bit version. X64 is 64-bit version. Now all American Truck Simulator versions should be 64-bit. That's the only supported version at this time. So they're the first steps to getting. <clears throat> so they're the first steps to getting plugins, and mods working in American Truck Simulator. And the final thing, just before I go in game, which I nearly forgot about, is how to enable the developer console. Now, this is inside your documents, then American Truck Simulator folder. And then you want the file config just there. This is the same place as the mod folder there. You double click on the config file. Now you've got a whole load of parameters right here. This is basically all your configuration, all your settings in the game. So if you make an adjustment in the game, graphics or whatever this is where it's recorded but we want to be right down at the bottom of this file g developer that will be zero in your game so just change it to one and the next stage is down here console again that will be 
that will show zero in your unmodified config file. So just change that to one and then hit save up there. And away you go. It's as simple as that. Right, when you first open the game, after creating that plugins directory, uh, you'll get this screen here. It's basically just telling you that it's detected that there are some plugins present in the plugins directory, or SDK as it calls here. And uh, you basically just click OK and uh, away you go. So going back to mods, if you've got your mods folder and you've installed a couple of mods, you have to enable those mods with the mod manager just there. Click on that. And as you can see, we've got the mods here. I'm going to install this one because I've not installed it yet. Click on it, shuffle it over there with that arrow. The order of the mods here, it sort of starts from the bottom up. So it'll load that free studio camera first, then it'll load that, then it'll load that, and then it'll load that. Some mods like graphical mods and map mods and things like that, it's quite important the order the game installs them in. So you'll have to, to read the readme and so on and so forth. Right, now we're in game. Now, a couple of things here. Uh, I'll show you the dev console. Now it's the tilde key, which is on my keyboard. Unfortunately, I can't show you, but on my keyboard, it's the second from top left down. It's the key immediately to the, the number one along the top of the keyboard. So we'll hit that. Now there's all sorts of stuff you can do in here, but in here, for example, if you, let's have a look at the world map, get this up. If we're over here looking at Santa Cruz, if you wanted to go to Fresno, over there, then hit the uh, tilt key again to get the console up. And you type go to, go to Fresno, F R E S N O, then hit enter, and then it'll, it looks like nothing's happened. That's fine. Hit the tilt key, there. hit the tilt key to uh, close the menu down, and then hit escape to get out of the map. And if we hit drive, we're in midair. Now I'm using the mouse to look around here. Now this this will be Fresno. Now the keys to actually move this camera around are on the numpad. So that's eight, four, six, two. No, can't go backwards. You have to turn the camera around if you want to go that way. So we'll park ourselves somewhere fairly inconspicuous in here. Oops, got underground. You can go, you can basically go through stuff, so you have to be careful. Now you want to get pretty close to the ground for the next stage. Right, as you can see, there's no truck around here, not yet. But what you want to do now is hit F9, Foxtrot 9 on the keyboard. Boom. There we go, we're inside the truck. And again, you could probably move the camera around. I've never actually done this. There you go, you can see see my truck. Sorry, the mouse is hypersensitive. Um, I've lost my truck. Oh, there it is. It's over there, look. So there's my truck. If you want to get in the truck, you just change the camera to hit one. And I'm now in the truck and I could... Well, I can't drive very far because I'm in, 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 an, in an enclosed space. But the key thing is you don't want to be too far off the ground because obviously your truck's going to fall out the sky and damage itself. So you want to be relatively close to the ground. And uh, as you can see, we're now in Fresno and it's recalculated a new route. And there it is. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for more American Truck Simulator. And of course, Euro Truck Simulator continuing the series there as well. Please like if this has helped. Dislike if you think I can improve it. Share if you think somebody else could benefit from it. Uh, but above all, drive safe.